Lisa Hernandez served four terms representing Cicero before taking over as the chair of the Democratic Party in Illinois last year. She became the first Latina to hold that position. That became a headline, but she has turned down television interviews until now as planning for the Democratic convention heats up. This week, she sat down with us to talk diversity for what's expected to be one of the largest political events of 2024. That's where I was raised, right here in Little Village. Okay, show us. Okay. Lisa Hernandez is a familiar face in many of Chicago's Latino neighborhoods. This is the neighborhood I grew up in, you know, Petrowski Park. And in Springfield, where she serves as a state representative. And uphold Illinois as the leader it already is. Over the last year, though, she's remained mostly behind the scenes, even as Chicago won the bid to host the 2024 Democratic Convention. The reason, there's been a lot to tackle, she says. The party has not had a team or an infrastructure like it has now, uh, so it was really um, understanding the processes. She is the first Latina to chair the state's Democratic Party. Her new role comes as Democrats around the country tackle a number of issues, including immigration. And as Chicago deals with a PR problem of its own, with thousands of migrants living at airports and police stations. Already, Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration has brought up the possibility of more migrants being bussed here over the next year as a way for Republicans to derail the picture of Chicago's sanctuary city status. Does the migrant situation factor into any conversations that you're having about the convention, the DNC? I, I would say it's, it's a conversation that uh, we're beginning to have, um, but uh, we are seeking first that the, you know, if the federal can do all that they can. While that conversation plays out, Hernandez is tasked with making sure there's diversity among the delegates and volunteers at a time when the party fights to retain black and Latino voters. What we're going to push for is uh, folks to volunteer. We've been asked uh, to um, uh, accumulate a total of 12,000 volunteers for the DNC, so that is a, a pretty heavy lift. About 900 volunteers are already signed up. With less than a year to go before the August convention, the clock is ticking. But representation is no doubt um, important and essential if we are going to be successful in the kind of policies that have to be in place. The projected price tag for the convention is $80 million. The Illinois DNC has been fundraising through different platforms. They're hosting a gala later this month with Senator Raphael Warnock as a keynote speaker. Meanwhile, Republicans are planning for their own convention in July, not far from Chicago, in Milwaukee. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.